You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's South Park After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's South Park After Show. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Jack, how are you? I'm good, Phil. I haven't been here since October. Well, I know. Uh, welcome back, listeners. Um, we are back, just like Bing. We're doing it. We're here for another South Park season. You are season. such a corporate fucking sellout. I mean, everything, top to bottom. Presented by Ford Focus. Taste the flavor of the new Ford Focus. Well, it, you know, everyone sells out. and so. But South- you know what? God bless you. God and bless God bless the good people at Bing. Can I tell a Bing story? Or What's am I prohibited? Thing? I don't know if you should be uninhibited. All right, so Bing is a fantastic search engine for pornography. The <laughs> like, no, really, like you know, Google they have so many like safe search built-in features because Google's a family company, but not Microsoft. Microsoft, mm-hmm. they know their audience. They know their porn-loving, just filthy fucking audience. So the great thing with Bing is, uh, if you take off a filter, you can search for pretty much any porn in the world. Uh, for and you can you do it by time too so you can get like a five minute club if you're just need a quick one or 20 minutes <laughs> if you have like a few minutes to relax you know kick back take off your pants your girlfriend's at work you got time i, I did it i did it myself this afternoon it is fantastic very cool well let me take uh, be thanks for that information if you guys are listening take the time to also rate and comment us on itunes uh we're here for the second season we've done it feels like three because they always split them up um but we're here for another season and so you know as you guys are jerking off and doing your internet stuff take the time to really rate and comment us on itunes it's all we ask for in return exactly for, the, for all that advice that jack has just given you i and mean so- la- ladies and gentlemen in radio or internet land the only way to search pornography is bing.com there you go and so we are south park Season 16. Oh my god, so many seasons. I thought it was season one. 15. Or is it 16? 16. Jesus. It's 16. Episode 1, Reverse Cowgirl. Which, which, uh, and I'm your host, Phil Svitek, alongside Jack Waz. Jack Waz, of course. Um, so which, which brings up a good point, you know, the proper use of a toilet. Yeah, I mean, uh, I saw the episode title, and the second I heard it and heard it about toilets, I assumed they were going to do a riding backwards joke. But I, I, thought- didn't ha- I didn't understand quite how integral it would be to the plot. I didn't either. When I heard, I, I didn't see like the description. I just heard the title, and uh, I thought it was gonna be something obviously with sex. Let's say when uh when the episode first started off, uh, so Clyde has left the toilet seat up Which yet is again. It's not uncommon. It's not uncommon. Actually, uh, you know, I I personally not to toot my own horn, but I always put the seat down. There you go. I because I I have no I have no good reason. I love my girlfriend, but I always put it down for some reason. Just good habit. It's just it's been, Which, by it's the way, been I mean, conditioned. I mean, it's like the thing that really made this episode funny was Butters's interpretation. Which at first uh, you're you're like that's you're like, that's oh, a joke, Butters. You know, and obviously but it makes really good sense. It does. I mean, you... I would love to have a comic book and a chocolate milk the next time I take a dump. <laughs> a great or a laptop and you have, with Bing.com. And, you, and then you have uh, the, the the thing right there. Exactly. And now you have actually to... uh, we have these we have these fucking these new fa- newfangled uh, fancy toilets like the low flush. You remember Phil and I went to school t- uh, together back at Emerson College in Boston. For those of you who, uh, don't know our backstory, it's long and complex. But we had, we lived in a brand new dorm building, and they had these low flush toilets. And when you put six guys living together in one dorm room with a low flush toilet, bad, bad, bad things happen. So much so that our freshman year, they actually overflowed and filled the dean's office with human shit. So again, I think I mean there's got to be a class on teaching how to uh, the, the proper way to poop, yeah. well, the proper way to poop the low flush. I mean, you know, I want to be green, I want to help Mother Earth, but I also I don't want my feces to just to just stay well, there. Let me ask you this then too: Is it 
Because <laughs> obviously, I love how uh, every time the women were like, no, guys, you guys are responsible for putting the seat down. It was like, yeah, it takes half a second to do so. So next time you go in there, check. Just look. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm curious if that's ever happened. If anyone's guts have ever been pulled out through their asshole into... I mean, uh, so so we have a we have a new engineer in the booth today. Her name is Jerica. Now she's not seen the episode, but Jerica, have 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 you or uh, any of your girlfriends ever talked about falling into a toilet seat because you didn't check that it was down? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Have really? have you yourself ever fallen in? Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> really? What are, what are the circumstances of this? Um, it was dark, usually late at night. What kind usually, of toilet? What kind of toilet seats wait, 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 wait. This is multiple times. <laughs> this is a common occurrence. It's happened once or twice. I mean, for those of you who can't see her, Derrica's a very petite girl. So I imagine even with the seat down, you could probably have an issue of slipping in. <laughs> you could. Which, but I mean, they just brought. To, I really love South Park because they bring in uh, just everything's on the table, even over logging. Or logging. Or logging. What was it called? It was called. Uh, it was called logging. The Great Colorado Loggers. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done this, but now that now that South Park is brought to my attention, I kind of want to try logging. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen the episode. Just to recap, logging is when you take a crap and turn around and then cut it in half with a urine stream. Yeah, which I mean, it depends on the, the the density of the the the, the poop and the velocity at which you're pissing. I, I don't know about you, but I mean, it's kind of like. If I'm taking a dump, they're both going to come out relatively the same. T I, I don't, I don't have the bladder control. Yeah, I'm just like hold it, right, to hold it's... into my urine and have and like actually plan that out. That's like it's like the Dexter of taking a crap. You really have to step by step plan out exactly how you're going to cut that thing in half. That, that's very true. Um, what was I going to say? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm sure it had to do with VC somehow. I'm sure, I'm sure it did. <laughs> and I just how about Jerica? By the way, is that Jerica with a J or Jerica with a G? J. So it's just Erica, but with a J. Yeah. Uh, it's like Jessica with a two R's. <laughs> so J E R R I C A. Yes. Awesome, Jerica. Have you ever have you ever logged? I have not. See, this is the, and this is the this is the problem with. I just feel like guys have way more fun in the toilet. Oh, yeah, you have a ton of fun in the toilet. Whereas girls, they really don't have a lot to do, and that's why they're pissed off. Just. <laughs> Because of that? Because of, uh, you know? <laughs> Not because of stuff like the glass ceiling, but no, because but, of... But, but, but in the episode, one woman stood up and was like, you know what? In the bathroom, I do this. It's always guys like, it, we're the ones losing our freedom. <laughs> As Carmen said. You sound like just, like every episode, you sound like a member of Stormfront. By the way, those of you on the internet, Google Stormfront on Bing. <laughs> it's a white I, supremacist website. I mean... That after Buzz endorses. Maybe, um, but just, just can we get the disclaimer? But just again, uh. it's it's you have so much fun. Like I mean, what girl? Like I mean, Jerica. When was the last time you had a fun in the bathroom? Not, I mean, that can go so many ways. But I played the fifth. All right. I'll say you you don't have them sign any sort of sexual harassment clauses when you hire no, engineers, do you? I don't. I don't. Um, but again, Butters is the one to bring up the coloring book in too, you know what I mean? So, I f like, it just goes to show, I've never really thought of it that way, that guys are so much I mean, more creative in the yeah, bathroom. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's time to be alone, it's time to, you know, relax, you're with your thoughts. You can, I mean, the advent of smartphones was the greatest thing to ever happen to that use was. in the bathroom. Because, I mean, you know, you go, you take a dump, you play Angry Birds, you play, I have a, I have a Game Boy emulator on mine, I play a couple levels of Mario while I'm in there, it's great. Yeah. And I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the second time we've sort of dealt with like a bathroom issue? Like the the well, we, uh, we dealt with some human sentai pad a little bit. A little bit, but it also brings to mind when they specifically dealt with um, uh, the 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 pee land um, episode. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it was guys peeing in toilets and peeing everywhere. <laughs> uh, do girls pee in the shower? Do girls pee in the shower? When no. you have to go, you have to go. All Looks right. Like, see, I like Jericho. She's honest. She's very honest. <laughs> she is. I mean, everyone, everyone pees in the shower. So have we covered the spectrum of, like, the bathroom? No. Was, South Park? There's something like, I was going to say. Keep stalling for a minute because I wanted to come back to All me. right. Well, I, why don't we... Uh, I'll stall right into uh, TSA, the Toilet Security Administration or Association. So when, I, when I first started watching the episode, I thought it was just going to be a half-hour-long shit joke. Mm -hmm. And they surprised me. I mean, they, like I, I thought they were going to go back to uh, in the episode. Um, sorry, I can't remember the title. The one with Terrence and Philip and the Queef Sisters. 
I think it's yeah, it's it's yeah. I don't know the title, like it's just queefing. Like yeah, the queefing episode. You know, it's it's a very similar setup. It's just men versus women. One thing men do, they find hilarious, and women find horrible <laughs> until they do it too. Yeah, and it's you know a very similar type setup. Buzzwords that one was brilliantly a half hour long fart joke. This one it had a little more nuance to it. I like the TSA. It did, and and obviously, I mean, uh, I mean, for Trey, what Trey reason Parker, do you Trey need Parker, to check an anus? Like Trey why? Parker and Matt Stone can play very very convincing TSA agents. They can, but like for uh, what I love, reason? I love when just... they bring up the head of the TSA, and it's just shit. I mean, it was it was perfect. It's uh, you know, it's it's obviously a very, it's a very broad transport safety administration joke. It's, but but it also it's, played it's, on it's, cops. Yeah, it's like it's like ten minutes. It's just ten minutes. It's like ten years late, but it's still funny because it is because it's just the fact that we've all you know we all fly. It's, we've all accepted this. We've all accepted you know random spot checks and cavity searches and everything in order to get from one place to another yeah so but my but, but but i also give them credit because they you know with randy on the toilet they you know they brought in the cop element which by the yeah, way they, a, a safety belt for a toilet how does that stop you from going um, down yeah it would have to be more of a harness like on uh like on a ride like a six flags magic mountain in california there you go so uh Archie so the tsa those. didn't quite get it right they didn't quite get it right. Uh, yeah, who would have thought a government agency didn't quite get safety standards right? I know, who would have thought? I'll say, so in this episode, Cartman has turned into, like, the the Ron Paul supporter. He's just, like, is that, loud, is that what they were referencing? loud, angry, white, mm -hmm. and doesn't want government intrusion in any way in his life. But is also a huge asshole and talks the, as the, much as he can. Has Ron ever come to the, uh, basically... He killed the, the the child and the TSA agent, right? But the toilet Cartman was intact. did not Ron Paul. Well, I'm, uh, that's what I'm asking. Is there any reference to Ron Paul? Any, <laughs> no, to such the best of my knowledge, Ron Paul never shot an infant in a bathroom. Although, <laughs> if you have a computer, I'm sure you can go on Bing and find out. That's right. And then rate and comment us on iTunes. Exactly. And as you're doing not that... Not to disparage Ron Paul, because his supporters can get a little crazy. The guy has a couple of good ideas, but he's also batshit insane. But at least he has a, at least he has a philosophy. That's right. Um, what did it say? Um, I was gonna ask this: Did they, did they do a slip up? Because uh, at first they talked about uh, Thomas Harrington inventing the toilet, but then they switched it to John. And, oh, and thought, on his I, search, it came I thought out it was always John. John Harrington. I thought the, the the guy slipped up at first. No, no, so. I thought at first it said John Harrington. All right, well, just the random which, thing. Which, when we were in the room, made me wonder why he said Thomas. Yeah, because I thought I heard Thomas. Anyway, that's just have, small have you ever have you ever referred to using the restroom as taking a Thomas? No, like taking Thomas the train I, engine. Is, is that is that station. what it's in reference to? I didn't realize. Like when I have to go to the John, that's what it's yeah. In it's, oh, one that you know, there's like thousands of things out there like that, and you know, crap and shit and all those. They all have supposed meanings and supposed places they came so from. So where does no shit one, come from? Uh, actually, I was told this by a constitutional law professor in college. Uh, shit comes from apparently. Uh, back when they would ship, uh, they would ship manure and vegetable products, anything that could spoil, they would write shit on the side, which is ship high in transit, mm -hmm. which means they need to keep it off the floor, otherwise they'll get it waterlogged, rats will get it, whatever. And that's what my constitutional law professor told me, although he could be completely <laughs> I just love that title, constitutional law professor. Yeah, he was, uh, specifically a First Amendment lawyer. And he all talks right. about the meaning of shit. Well... All right. Well, that, that, that actually segue. I know we were going to talk about something else uh, before this, but speaking of the lawyer, mm. <laughs> the suances. Yes, I mean just so full of shit. All right, put another dollar in here, hundred dollar bill. You know, we. Need I, I, I did like the Hunted Mansion vibe that the law office had. I did too. It was, uh, it was fun. Just like uh, it was kind of like a uh, drag me to hell type situation, except even funnier. Yeah, and I love how I mean, again it just speaks to the point like you could sue anything, anyone for anything. Exactly, that is the American way is to sue anyone and anything. And because just blame you can. it. Like, all right, well, who's just responsible for the keep, toilet? Keep cramming fucking trans fat fried Doritos and Taco Bell flavored <laughs> Dorito shells and corn syrup infused soda and all that shit. Just cram it into your mouth, and as soon as something goes bad, sue someone. That's right. And what was what was really awesome, because I, I, when, when they were going to sue someone, I thought it could have been the typical, all right, we're going to sue the company that actually physically makes the toilet. But I like that they went beyond that and the inventor of the toilet. Exactly. They did a seance. Which comes <laughs> through, we get to the courtroom, and Clyde's mom appears and still manages to pester him from beyond the grave, even though she's already had all of her insides sucked out. 
Which, I mean, that image was so funny. I, I didn't realize yeah, her, they were going to kill her either. Her in the casket with yeah. her feet up was funny as hell. However, and dressed I, to the nines, I, too. Like I someone wish... had to put on the shoes, the makeup, exactly. everything. She looked like Jackie O had shit herself to death on the toilet. <laughs> but I... I, I was kind of hoping they'd go a little further. You know, South Park, they should do really gruesome stuff. I was expect I, like, when they were talking about her organs getting sucked out, I was expecting, like, her eyeballs to come in and her skin to, like, retract under her bones. Mm. I was like, I was expecting, like, something really gory and really fucked up. And they, they kind of dropped the ball for me there. Well, the, the part where they didn't drop it for me is I didn't think, I thought they would, like, get her safely out of there. I didn't think she'd just say, all right, end my life, and then just turn the faucet. And that was, you know, that was, was it for her. I was going to say, well... Uh, in every episode of South Park, since uh, something Walmart this way comes, uh, whenever a character dies, they immediately shit themselves afterward. That's right. So as soon as she died, I was waiting for a little... <laughs> <laughs> but but th that's but the I, point. I know, it I got it's all sucked. Gone. Yeah, the, the, the shit's I, I gone. Still, I, still wanted, I still wanted the fart when she died. I could, just, I, for, just for continuity's sake. I mean, it's it, it was there, just it was, it was different elsewhere. I know, it went I just, elsewhere. I, I'm a man who doesn't like change. Well, it didn't change. The circumstances were different, Jack. That's all. So the ending of the episode, absolutely perfect. Clyde using, <laughs> using the toilet, reverse cowgirl, looking up to heaven and flipping off his dead mom. After he lifted the seat up, of course. Of course. It, uh, was, uh, it was pretty perfect. It was. Um, and, you know, I, I, I'm kind of mad at him because he didn't have his full coloring book. I know. Butters, Butters might be the Jesus of our time. I mean, just, Butters just has always clean, been like the disciple yep, of just, like with the smart ideas. And plain never spoken, enough. very sweet, very innocent. He's yeah. uh, he's a modern prophet. He really is. Just he he's kind of like the Forrest Gump of, of, of South Park. He is. He absolutely is. Just showing <laughs> up at the right was, place at the right time. Even when he was by curious, maybe we're all a little by curious. Uh, one of the best episodes ever. Exactly. The commercial. Uh, yeah, we uh, we'll we'll do a quick commercial and then we'll come back with um, our predictions for next week. Although it's tough because again they're. Probably just starting to make the show now. But we can predict After this season. After Buzz TV. Hi. I was once like you. A lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And, like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then, I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzz TV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds, like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after-shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Welcome back, Jack. That is, a, that is a sexy commercial you guys produced. It has. I see where all that... Dancing with the Stars money has gone. I know. Speaking of Dancing with the Stars, we have not, we have yet to plug Maria Menounos' Every Girl's Guide to Life. Well, No, no, no. Don't take it off its gilded pedestal. No, well, I have to show viewers. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Maria Menounos has a book out called The Every Girl's Guide to Life. Yeah. Now, why uh, do you care? Because... Well, I, I care because this episode is actually based off of some wisdom from the book. Maria talks about proper bathroom etiquette and shows you very graphically the proper way to reverse cowgirl a toilet. And 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 she and uh, she's bold enough to say it, it is a woman's responsibility to put the seat down. Yeah, Maria Menounos, she is also a prophet of our time. She is, and uh, she's fantastic in the bathroom. It's and, just it, she has she has, such, she has such great poise. You know, she's like the queen, and which really translates well into her dancing with the stars because um, she's now on it. She'll be great on that. Super excited. Who else is on that? Uh, I don't know. Who's like, on the season? I don't, I don't know. Really Some care. dwarf, uh, I one mean, of the Kardashians, a swimmer. No, Car no Kardashians this season. No. How, so, how, about, how about one of the minor kings or princes? You can get one of those. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, See, and so if they're not memorable, well, why vote for them? Exactly. Vote, Maria. vote for Maria. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and you'll see a banner there. And we'll put up instructions on how to vote, all that, um, in case you're, you know, not quite confident enough to vote. 
That's what they say. Is that what they say? This is America. People love to vote. They, we love to vote. And we love to vote for uh, fun and stupid things. Yeah, so we, love, we love to vote for things like, uh, I don't know, the next flavor of Mountain Dew or which late night Dorito. Oh, I'm really hitting Doritos hard tonight. Which late night Doritos flavor will be the next big one? Not so much politics. Yeah, so so let's let's keep up tradition let's by say, voting Maria. To vote, be the next vote for dancing, Maria. How, what are you, what's the title? She, she is the Mountain Dew live wire of Dancing with the Stars. All right. All right, Jerrica, why don't we get right into predictions for this season? And now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. All right, so the fact that we can still... We're season 16, episode 1, and we can still laugh after all these years. What do they have in store they for are, us? They are doing something very, very right. Um, let's see, what do, what do they have in store for us? I see, I foresee something having to do with the endless Republican primary. It's, yeah. you know, it's four batshit guys going against one another. It's, it's, there's room there to you think they, 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 they're going to save that more because we, again, we get seven, you know, in spring for the, mm -hmm. for the season and then we get seven in fall. You think they're going to save that I, for I, the fall? I, they'll definitely do an election episode. Although I think, uh, just, you know, with how crazy everything is right now, I think they'll definitely try to get mm -hmm. at least a couple jokes out of that. I always feel like they have a pattern of doing one relevant one. Then one kind of just fun one. Exactly. This this fun. one was more of a fun one. There were you know bits of satire, in it, but this was a fun one. So I think the next one's going to be relevant. What what else, what else is in the news? Uh, well, you have Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, killing all those animals. Yeah, so that that could be a fun one. That'd be very fun. What else? Everything else I can think of is really fucking sad. Oh, well, they always go that way and just make it fun. Yeah, but I mean, like killing killing a bunch of Afghan civilians. Can't really see them. Uh, if they can, if they make me laugh at that. And their comedy gods. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess there's there's nothing going on in the world right now. It's a sad fucking state of affairs, which is why we have South Park. It it is true. It is very true. I mean, uh, I saw, I did see on the news, like literally, L.A. had like a their news was 50 minutes of following like a, a, a slow speed car chase. I was <laughs> like, really? This is all the news we got? Do you know that my parents now live on the street that O.J. Simpson murdered his wife on and then went on a car chase down? I did not know. It's pretty awesome. And for more tidbits and like that. Please rate and comment us on iTunes. And with that, I i mean, unless you have other predictions, I think that about does it for us this week. Take us out, Jerrica. And I think, yeah, kudos to Jerrica. She's she's new to the board. She's new. Yeah, and there's Ronnie stepping in, baby, with our claps. Uh, give us the know what? Go ahead. I hope they make fun of the TV show I worked on this season that I can't talk about because it's not on the air yet. But I really hope that it's big enough that South Park will make fun of it, that my life will be complete. All right, that that would be awesome. I I I'm, I really or, want to. You be know, I hope they make fun of After Buzz. Uh, it's always great. They might. Wait, Rush Limbaugh. Of course, that's what they're gonna do next. Yeah, that, that that's a big one. Um, you know, and, and and it's tough for those guys. We wanted to get them in. They they want to come down, but it's it's tough given their schedule because we do the shows when they're literally like going out a seven day pace. Exactly. So Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll catch after you next week. After Buzz. After Buzz. Oh, we're getting fun in the booth. All right. We'll see From you guys Bing next week. Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. See you later. Porn. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.